Greetings everyone, this is Zach with Engadget and uh, Christian from Mozilla is going to give us our first peek at Boot to Gecko, which is going to be their assault on the smartphone. So take it away, Christian. Um, so what you see here is uh, an interface that looks much like any smartphone interface. It's responsive, it scrolls around, it has nice icons, but the cool thing about it is actually this is HTML5. So this is HTML5, Canvas and WebGL. So if you want proof for that, you actually take a look at that and you can see the HTML source code of that interface right now. So everything you build on the web is now running on that device that is possible. You had that in the past as well. You had full screen on browsers, but with the operating system that we have here, we've written the whole interface in HTML5 and we gave it the APIs that you normally don't get, like a dialer API, where now you can not dial it on the telephone number. This would not be possible on a browser, but it's possible with Bluetooth Gecko on the phone now. You have your address books, you have your call lists and your address book like any other browser out there and you can start clicking on them, you get the details of that person and you can start clicking their telephone numbers. I hope that wasn't a real number but I'm not quite sure. So um, you got the dialer and the messenger, that's the new thing because as a JavaScript developer I always wanted to do that but I never got it. But with B2G we can do that right now. You've got a browser which in this case is funnily enough Firefox for mobile. Cool figure, is, right? Yeah, it's a very very good browser and it actually does all the job for us. You got maps like uh, Google Maps for example that was always a problem to make work on mobile phones without being in the browser without being really really slow but look at that it actually scrolls the same way that it does on your desktop with a connectivity. I mean we're at a booth here with 10,000 people using the same wireless so the tiles load a bit slowly but that's about it. Uh, if you go back uh, we've got a camera access now as well and this is using the input API of HTML5 and as it's HTML5 we can get the pixels of the camera as well and we can start changing them live in canvas so we can saturate the image or we can actually blur the image with a with a, a CSS filter or an SVG filter in this case so you have full access to the camera through your phone with JavaScript HTML and CSS through the API that we provide for you you've got your gallery your normal photo gallery that we've written in jQuery all over the place as well it scrolls quite nicely on the phone, it looks much like my Android. You've got full screen video as well, this is HTML5 video encoded in WebM where you can see the Firefox is playing on our live cam back in the past and you can go back and get the other video out there. So you can connect your, and, uh, your phone, send your videos over and start playing them. Facebook app which is exactly the same as mfacebook.com just embedded in a full screen app. We've got our market which we're launching today as well where you could write and actually get HTML5 applications and install them on the phone okay. and you have music player you get the settings so the settings themselves are again an HTML page so you could style them any way you want to if you uh, if you're a provider for example can you show us a bit of the settings options that uh, users well, will have we have the same things we have the languages which is now in English or in French so you can switch around with that we can go back you have wallpapers in case you think your phone is not pretty enough you can put a wallpaper in there you have the display options where you can have a brightness level and you can lock your screen as well so you don't have the switching around. Uh, you have your keyboard which could be now localized into different English settings and Cyrillic scripts and Hebrew. You have your vibration and the click sound going on much like in any other phone as well. And you have sounds, the phone itself, which provider you're using and if you want to vibrate the phone. Oops, sorry about this. Not to worry. Uh, you can power off, which I'm not going to do right now, and you can debug the phone, which is a grid that actually allows you for debugging, but if you, de if you haven't written the system, it wouldn't make much sense to you. But as a developer, it's a quite a time saver, because it's really annoying to debug on the phone and, or on your desktop when you're sending things to the phone. So a quick question for you. On Android, it's important to some users to have root access. Yes. Is there something similar on Firefox that... Uh, well, not on Firefox. I mean, you can... Or boot to Gecko. Sorry. Um, I'm not quite sure, but I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking it will be the same way. You can get root access to it as well, because it is just another Unix core on uh, Linux core. On but by default, it's not going to provide root access to the user, probably for security? Um, I think so, yeah. Okay. And actually, not security, but more like confusion, because a normal end user is not as, uh, not as uh, uh, excited enough. about the terminal as I am, for example. Okay. So, um, you got games, you got Cut the Rope, which is actually, funny was written by Microsoft as a demo for 
i9, but it runs wonderfully on this uh, on this phone right now. So you can play cut the rope as it's written in HTML5. I can play it in on this phone, and I can play it on Firefox desktop as well. And on Firefox, and it's a wonderful game. I mean, I saw it an Android full way, but showing it and playing it is obviously not a good idea. Sure, sure. You got CNN full screen apps. Uh, you got the New York Times the full screen apps, and that's basically what Boot Gecko gives you. Everything an operating gives you, but with the power of the web. Can you show us a bit the dialer and messaging system? Sure. Uh, so these are the dialers again. So I'm not going to give you my telephone number now. Sure, sure. But you could call, and then it starts calling, and you got the same stuff as every other. You can start okay. muting it, have a speaker, have an end. And uh, with the messaging system, it's the same way as all the others. So uh, I can write a new message. I get my keyboard here, which is exactly the same as you would expect it on Android. And the responsiveness is really, really good as well. And that was quite a pain to do. Is this your own keyboard technology? Uh, no, I think it's actually something that we've written together with uh, uh, with Telefonica. So a lot of the interface was done with, uh, by Telefonica before. We just styled it up and made it better and gave it our performance boost that it didn't have in the past. Got it. That's what we have. All right. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Chris, to Gecko, have fun. Christian, I want to thank you for showing us uh, Boot to Gecko. It looks really promising. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.